Hello, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be designing on Photoshop. Today's lesson, how I make a very simple magazine mock-up. Let's go. Today we're going to be making this magazine mock-up. I've had a lot of questions of where I have got this mock-up from and it is actually one that I have made myself. It's very simple, very easy, so let's begin. Okay, so all we're going to do to start off with is we're just going to create a guide. This is going to be the magazine guide and we're just going to create a rectangle right in the middle and just make it white. This is all you need as the base point for this mock-up. Then for the next step, all we want to do is we just want to duplicate this rectangular layer. So either Alt and drag or press Ctrl J and then we're just going to hide this one and convert the new one into a smart object. Then you go into the smart object itself and then all you need to do is you need to get a paper folded texture as such and then just resize it so it fits the whole of the canvas. And we just bring it down, center it up a bit, make sure that it is all in the center with the guys that we have set. And as we close and save it, and we go back into the template, here is what it looks like so far. So we've got one side and another side, which is gonna be page one and page two. Then all we're gonna do next is we're gonna to continue to build out the texture of the magazine itself. So we're gonna open up a new vintage texture of a new paper element, and we're gonna drag that into the template. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna clip it onto the convert smart object that we've just done. We, we can also convert this one into a smart object so you can resize it to whatever you like. And then all we need to do is just resize so it fits the canvas of the magazine like such. And just slap it back in the middle. And then all we need to do is we just need to click on the layer and just click on to multiply it so you can see the split once again. Then the next step, what I like to do here is I like to just go through and just open this up a bit more so you have a bit more of a plain sight and then invert it so you have a bit more of a shading for when the magazine is open and it is folded. It gives it that look of a 3D. Next step is we're going to create a bit more shading onto the left hand side. I want this one to have the right side being a bit more folded than the left so there's going to be a lot more shading on the left hand side down in the middle. So all you need to do here is I've got a shadow texture myself which I've made but you can also just use a black brush on low opacity and then just clip it onto here like that. And all you need to do is just bring it down in sizing once again, just so it fits and it looks a bit more perfect. And then just put it onto the black line so it's only over onto the left hand side and maybe just play around with the opacity to whatever you may want it to look like. So 70, that looks good. There's a lot more shading on the left hand side, which makes the right side just look a bit more lower down than the left, which gives a bit more 3D element once again. Now here is the next step, a very important part. What you want to do next is you want to take this magazine texture and Alt and drag or Control J. We're going to Control J for this one as such, and we're going to bring it and drag it down into the back pages layer, into the group. So now we have the detail pages, which we already made on the left hand side and the right hand side. And then we also have the magazine texture, which is this one. If I take it off, is this one, the main background. And I'll show you why very soon. Now we're on to the final step. We're gonna split page one to page two, so you can put various things on each page without overlapping. So, let's begin. What you wanna do is you wanna go back into the magazine texture layer, go back onto the very first converted smart object, and you wanna drag that outside of this group. Then, if you drag it above, you just wanna put it underneath. Then, the very next step you wanna make is you wanna go on magazine texture. You wanna go into this layer, the very first one we made, and you wanna set this, the main background, the main shape, as a multiply layer. So we're gonna go back onto the duplicated layer, and we're gonna group it and call it page one. Then you wanna click on this one and you wanna group it once more. So you have two groups in one. And this all makes sense in a second. Then, next step, you wanna click on this layer, control, click, so it only selects the shape. Next thing you would do is you want to go down to the bottom right and click layer mask. Now as you can see everything is into this shape but we want to only have it on this left side. So next thing you want to do is take the select tool and drag over page 2 just over the black split and then go onto the brush make it sure that it's black by pressing X if it's on white or just selecting black on here opacity 100, flow 100 and then all we're going to do here is just rub it out like this. Now, everything we put into this layer hasn't been put onto group one. So with that layer mask that we just made, all you want to do is click on it and drag it up to the group. 
Now everything that we put into this group will go into page one. So for example, if we wanted to change color to maybe a red, we're gonna do this. And obviously, if you wanna have more of the texture come out in the background, we're gonna put multiply. So it looks like this. Now the reason we made a duplicate magazine texture and we put it on multiply above is because of this. Look how much texture we've lost since we've taken that out and look how much it brings back when we put it on. It just gives that extra bit of detail, the extra bit of shading that we put on at the very start so our work that we made previously isn't all lost, is already still there. It's as simple as that. Now we're gonna move on to page number two. So we're gonna go into magazine texture once again and all we're gonna do here is just duplicate it and bring it outside of the layer once more. Make sure that it is on normal and we're just gonna group it once more and call this one page two, of course. Once again, we're just gonna group it and I'm only going over page two like I just did page one, it's the same process just to make sure you get it right. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this layer, control, click, so it only brings out the shape and then down in the bottom right, layer mask. Next thing we're gonna do, instead of selecting page two, we're gonna select page one. Make sure that it goes over the black line in the middle, the black brush once more, and we're just gonna do this, rub it out. And you can tell that it's worked because we see the color that we put onto page one previously. Now, if we do this once again, make sure there's a very important step. So everything you put onto this page goes onto this page is you want to drag the layer mask onto the group that we made next thing we want to do just to make sure everything is good is we want to just go on a different color maybe and put it on blue but as you can see there are some white bits from when the black folded paper texture bends to the left a bit so what we're going to do here is we're going to go on to the layer mask of the group number page two go down make sure that the color is on white so it fills color back in and then all we need to do is just put some extra detail in like such and as you can see nothing is going over the black line so don't worry about that and as you can see sometimes you need to go onto page one and just fill it in that side instead so we're just going to do that very quickly as soon as i finish this one this is what it looks like we're going to take the color off so the red is gone the blue is gone and as you can see we have a magazine mock-up very very quickly it takes about 10 minutes to make so make sure to follow every single step make sure to make sure that every single layer mask is on the groups instead of the page shape that is the main thing and i hope you guys enjoyed hope this makes sense i'll see you in the next video